I'm moving on to the tail comb. So prior to kind of putting this video together, I've already kind of gone through and on all the parts, the components for the, the tail, uh, tail cone, I've already kind of deburred everything, um, uh, cut parts out of angle iron and all that sort of stuff. Um, I'm finding that that's not necessarily the most riveting video to watch, but maybe putting the tail cone together is. Ha, who am I kidding? None of this is very riveting to watch. And if you are watching this, you really need to get a life. Uh, anyway, I'm gonna kind of do some, the usual thing, put some uh, time last video together of me assembling the tail cone. Um, after I put the tail cone together, there are some uh, kind of stringers, or not stringers, uh, stiffeners and other things where I need to kind of go through and match drill. Um, after I do that, the next steps of the tail cone are basically taking everything apart again, um, deburring all the holes. I deburled all the edges, but not really the holes yet. Um, priming, uh, dimpling, and then I get to rivet the thing together. Anyway, I'm excited for this part because looking at like the horizontal stabilizer, the elevators, the vertical stabilizer, yeah, those are airplane parts um, and they're kind of cool, but I'm kind of excited to make what looks like more like the body of the airplane, you know, having the tail cone and in the garage makes it, I don't know, look more like an airplane, feels like it's getting closer, I don't know. Anyway, I'm gonna start putting this thing together. finished assembling this thing all by myself. Um, it would have been nice to have some help, but sometimes my teenage son is more of a disaster than he is a help. And my wife has told me that under no circumstances is she gonna work on the plane. I bet she'll change her mind at some point, we'll see. Um, regardless, it was uh, some parts kind of a pain in the butt to do it on your own. If you can have a partner, if you're ever putting something together like this, it's helpful, um, but it was doable. So now I have this thing, most of it anyway, is clico together. And the next step I need to do is kind of match drill all the longerons um, into the side. So the longerons are these kind of pieces of L-beam that are right here that run the length of the tail cone. Um, and they serve to stiffen it. There's also some J-angle, I think they call it uh, angle iron J, kind of looks like a J. Anyway, they're running along here too. And at some point I've got to match drill those as well. Um, so that's the next step. I'm going to match drill these. There might be some more intermediate steps. Then I think I flip it over, match drill the J stiffers on the bottom, the J stiffers along the side, uh, and that kind of thing. So anyway, I'm going to do that. Um, the longerons are a little thick, so I'm going to be using kind of a drill guide um, to make sure the holes are straight. Sometimes when I'm match drilling the skins, because they're so thin, it doesn't really matter if they're not perfectly straight. You can kind of get it pretty straight by looking at the reflection of the drill bit and the aluminum. Um, but the longerons are thicker. I want to make sure they're straight. So I'm going to use the drill guide um, as I'm going through. I think I'm going to use them with, uh, hit them with the 40 um, drill. So that's the next step. And uh, let's drill these suckers, match drill these suckers, and uh, away we go.
so I finished uh, putting together the uh, tail cone. Um, I clicked it all together, did all the drilling that I needed to, and then I just disassembled it. I didn't videotape that because A, I didn't want to, and uh, B, I'm kind of in a bit of a hurry. Uh, so I assembled everything, drilled all the things I need to. The next step I need to do with the tail cone is kind of deburr all the parts, uh, prime them, dimple them, and then I get to put them together. Regardless, that's it for this video, um, and I'll take probably some videos of me doing all that when the time comes. Anyway, that's it for now.